Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, When you take the sum of the children of Yasharel after their number, then shall they give every man a ransom for his soul unto Yahuwah, when you number them, that there be no plague among them when you number them. This they shall give, every one that passes among them that are numbered, half a shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty geras. A half shekel shall be the offering of Yahuwah. Every one that passes among them that are numbered, from twenty years old and above, shall give an offering unto Yahuwah. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. When they give an offering unto Yahuwah to make an atonement for your souls, and you shall take the atonement money of the children of Yasharel, and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the assembly, that it may be a memorial unto the children of Yasharel before Yahuwah to make an atonement for your souls. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, You shall also make a laver of brass, and his foot also of brass, to wash withal, and ye shall put it between the tabernacle of the assembly and the altar, and ye shall put water therein. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet thereat. When they go into the tabernacle of the assembly, they shall wash with water, that they die not, or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burn offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, that they die not, and it shall be a statute forever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout their generations. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Take also unto you principal spices of pure myrrh, five hundred shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even two hundred and fifty shekels, and of sweet calamus, two hundred and fifty shekels, and of cassia, five hundred shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, and of olive oil, a hen, and you shall make it an oil of holy ointment, an ointment compound after the art of the apothecary. It shall be holy anointing oil. And ye shall anoint the tabernacle of the assembly therewith, and the ark of the testimony, and the table and all his vessels, and the menorah and his vessels, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering with all his vessels, and the laver and his foot. And ye shall sanctify them, that they may be most holy, Whatsoever touches them shall be holy, and you shall anoint Aaron and his sons, and consecrate them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And you shall speak unto the children of Yasharel, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations. Upon man's flesh shall it not be poured, neither shall ye make any other like it. After the composition of it, it is holy, and it shall be holy unto you. Whosoever compounds any like it, or whosoever puts any of it upon a stranger, shall even be cut off from his people. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Take unto you sweet spices, stacta, and anicha, and galbanum, these sweet spices, and pure frankincense, of each shall be a like weight. And you shall make it a perfume, a confection after the art of the apothecary, tempered together, pure and holy. And you shall beat some of it very small, and put of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the assembly, where I will meet with you. It shall be unto you most holy. And as for the perfume which you shall make, ye shall not make to yourselves according to the composition thereof. It shall be unto you holy for Yahuwah. Whosoever shall make like unto that, to smell thereto, shall even be cut off from his people. Shemot Exodus chapter 31 And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Horai, of the tribe of Yahuda, And I have filled him with the Ruach Elohim, in wisdom and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, to devise cunning works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass, and in cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. And I, behold, I have given with him Aholiav, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, and in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded you. The tabernacle of the assembly, the ark of the testimony, the mercy seat that is thereupon, and all the furniture of the tabernacle, and the table, and his furniture, 
and the pure menorah with all his furniture, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering with all his furniture, and the laver and his foot, and the cloths of service for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense for the holy place. According to all that I have commanded you, shall they do. And Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak also unto the children of Yasharel, saying, Truly my Shabbatot ye shall guard, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am Yahuwah Makodeshim, Yahuwah who sanctifies you. Ye shall guard the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defiles it shall surely be put to death, for whosoever does any work thereon, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy unto Yahuwah. Whosoever does any work in the Sabbath, he shall surely be put to death. Wherefore the children of Yasharel shall guard the Sabbath to keep the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Yasharel forever. For in six days Yahuwah made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested, and was refreshed. And he gave unto Moshe, when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two sapphires of testimony, sapphire stones, written with the finger of Elohim. Shemot, Exodus chapter 32. And when the people saw that Moshe delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron, and said unto him, Up, make us Elohim, which shall go before us. As for this Moshe, the man that brought us up out of the land of Mitraim, we know not what is become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your women, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And the people broke off the golden earrings which were in the ears, and brought them unto El Ahron. And he received them at their hand, and fashioned it with a graving tool, after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be your Elohim, O Yasharel, which brought you up out of the land of Mitzrayim. And when Aharon saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aharon made proclamation, and said, Tomorrow is a feast to Yahuwah. And they rose up early on the morrow, and offered burnt offerings, and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink, and rose up to play. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Go, get you down, for your people, which you brought out of the land of Mitzrayim, have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf, and have worshipped it, and have sacrificed thereunto, and said, These be your Elohim, O Yasharel, which have brought you up out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of you a great nation. And Moshe besought Yahuwah Eloheinu and said, Yahuwah, why does your wrath wax hot against your people, which you have brought forth out of the land of Mitzrayim with great power and with a mighty hand? Wherefore should the Mitzrayim speak and say, For mischief did he bring them out, to slay them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath, and repent of this evil against your people. Remember Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yashrael, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self, and said unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven. And all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And Yahuwah repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. And Moshe turned, and went down from the mount, and the two sapphires of the testimony were in his hand. The sapphires were written on both their sides, on the one side and on the other were they written. And the sapphires were the work of Elohim, and their writing was the writing of Elohim, graven upon the sapphires. 
And when Yahusha heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said unto Moshe, There is noise of war in the camp! And he said, It is not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moshe's anger waxed hot, and he cast the sapphires out of his hands, and broke them beneath the mount. And he took the calf which they had made, and burnt it in the fire, and ground it to powder, and strawed it upon the water, and made the children of Yashrael drink of it. And Moshe said unto El Aharon, what did this people unto you, that you have brought so great a sin upon them? And Aharon said, Let not the anger of my lord wax hot. You know the people, that they are set on mischief. For they said unto me, Make us Elohim, which shall go before us. For as for this Moshe, the man that brought us up out of the land of Mitzrayim, we know not what has become of him. And I said unto them, Whosoever has any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me, and I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. And when Moshe saw that the people were naked, for Aharon had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies, then Moshe stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on Yahuwah's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashrael, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moshe, and there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. For Moshe had said, Consecrate yourselves today to Yahuwah, even every man upon his son and upon his brother that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. It came to pass on the morrow that Moshe said unto the people, Ye have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto El Yahuwah. Perchance I shall make an atonement for your sin. And Moshe returned unto El Yahuwah and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them Elohai of gold. Yet now, if you will forgive their sin, and if not, block me, I pray you, out of your sefer which you have written. Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Whosoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my sepher. Therefore now go, lead the people into the place of which I have spoken unto you. Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. And Yahuwah plagued the people, because they made the calf which Aharon made. Shemot, Exodus chapter 33. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Depart, and go up hence, you and the people which you have brought up out of the land of Mitzrayim, unto the land which I swore unto Avraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yaakov, saying, Unto your seed will I give it. And I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Kinai, the Amorai, the Hittai, the Perizai, the Hivai, and the Yevusai unto a land flowing with milk and honey, for I will not go up in the midst of you, for you are a stiff-necked people, lest I consume you in the way. And when the people heard the evil report, they mourned, and no man did put on him his ornaments. For Yahuwah had said unto Moshe, Say unto the children of Yasharel, Ye are a stiff-necked people. I will come up into the midst of you in a moment, and consume you. Therefore now put off your ornaments from you, that I may know what to do unto you. And the children of Yashrael stripped themselves of their ornaments by the Mount Horev. And Moshe took the tabernacle, and pitched it without the camp, afar off from the camp, and called it the tabernacle of the assembly. And it came to pass, that everyone which sought Yahuwah went out unto the tabernacle of the assembly, which was without the camp. And it came to pass, when Moshe went out unto the tabernacle, that all the people rose up, and stood every man at his tent door, and looked after Moshe until he was gone into the tabernacle. And it came to pass, 
as Moshe entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle, and Yahuwah talked with Moshe. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door, and all the people rose up and worshipped every man in his tent door. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe face to face, as a man speaks unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp, but his servant Yahusha, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. And Moshe said unto Eliahua, See, you say unto me, Bring up this people, and you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found grace in my sight. Now therefore, I pray you, if I have found grace in your sight, show me now your way, that I may know you, that I may find grace in your sight, and consider that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence shall go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said unto him, If your presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. For wherein shall it be known here that I and your people have found grace in your sight? Is it not in that you go with us? So shall we be separated, I and your people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, I will do this thing also that you have spoken, for you have found grace in my sight, and I know you by name. And he said, I beseech you, show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim the name of Yahuwah before you, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, You cannot see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. And Yahuwah said, Behold, there is a place by me, and you shall stand upon a rock, and it shall come to pass, while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and will cover you with my hand, while I pass by. And I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Shemot, Exodus chapter 34 And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Hew you two sapphire stones like unto the first, and I will write upon these sapphires the words that were in the first sapphires, which you broke. And be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present yourself there to me in the top of the mount. And no man shall come up with you, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount, neither let the flocks nor herds feed before that mount. And he hewed two sapphire stones like unto the first. And Moshe rose up early in the morning, and went up unto Mount Sinai as Yahuwah had commanded him, and took in his hand the two sapphire stones. And Yahuwah descended in the cloud, and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of Yahuwah. Yahuwah. And Yahuwah passed by before him, and proclaimed, Yahuwah, Yahuwah El, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and fourth generation. And Moshe made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. And he said, If now I have found grace in your sight, O Adonai, let my Adonai, I pray you, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. And he said, Behold, I cut a covenant before all your people. I will do wonders, such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation, and all the people among which you are shall see the work of Yahuwah. For it is a terrible thing that I will do with you. Guard that which I command you this day. Behold, I drive out before you the Emirai, the Kenani, the Hittai, and the Perizzai, and the Hivai, and the Yevusai. Take heed to yourselves, lest you cut a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither you go, lest it be for a snare in the midst of you, 
but ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their Asherah poles. For you shall worship no other El, for Yahuwah Kana, Yahuwah is jealous, is my name. He is a jealous El. Lest you cut a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a whoring after their Elohim, and do sacrifice unto their Elohim, and one call you, and you eat of his sacrifice, and take of their daughters unto your sons, and their daughters go a whoring after their Elohim, and make your sons go a whoring after their Elohim. You shall make no molten Elohai. The feast of matzah, unleavened bread, shall you guard. Seven days you shall eat matzah, unleavened bread, as I commanded you, in the time of the month of Eve. For in the month of Eve you came out from Mitzrayim. All that opens the womb is mine, and every firstling among your cattle, whether ox or sheep, that is male. But the firstling of an ass you shall redeem with a lamb, and if you redeem him not, then shall you break his neck. All the firstborn of your sons you shall redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Six days you shall work, but on the seventh day you shall rest. In earing time and in harvest you shall rest. And you shall observe the feast of Katsir, harvest, of the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the feast of Asif, in gathering, at the year's end. Thrice in the year shall all your men children appear before Adonai Yahuwah, the Elohai of Yasharel. For I will cast out the nations before you, and enlarge your borders. Neither shall any man desire your land, when you shall go up to appear before Yahuwah Elohaika thrice in the year. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven, neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Pesach be left unto the morning. The first of the first fruits of your land you shall bring into the house of Yahuwah Elohaika. You shall not see the kid in his mother's milk. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Write these words, for after the tenor of these words I have cut a covenant with you and with Yasharel. And he was there with Yahuwah forty days and forty nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the sapphires the words of the covenant, the ten devarim. And it came to pass, when Moshe came down from Mount Sinai with the two sapphires of testimony in Moshe's hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moshe knew not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. And when Aharon and all the children of Yashrael saw Moshe, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moshe called unto them, and Aharon and all the rulers of the assembly returned unto him, and Moshe talked with them. And afterward, all the children of Yashrael came nigh, and he gave them in commandment all that Yahuwah had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. And till Moshe had done speaking with him, he put a veil on his face. But when Moshe went in before Yahuwah to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spoke unto the children of Yashrael, which he was commanded. And the children of Yashrael saw the face of Moshe, that the skin of Moshe's face shone and Moshe put the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak.